camera in Baton Rouge this morning and uh, see what the conditions are looking like. And, and not the prettiest morning in that area, that's for sure. They have really gone through it and they're not done yet. Mm -mm, not done yet. Uh, Rob, there's still a lot of action happening over there. Yeah, and there's still going to be a whole bunch of rain thanks to Ida working its way more north and more east through a bunch of the deep south into the Tennessee Valley. And if we are going to get any rain that's more directly related to Ida, that would be around here tomorrow with some of those wraparound bands that they all hold together. So we got things to keep our eyes on still with Ida as it's still a tropical storm, but getting weaker gradually. Our 24 hour temperature cast wants to get those numbers in the mid 80s, maybe the upper 80s, depending if we get a few breaks in that overcast, but it's going to be awfully cloudy for most of us today. I think maybe the farther east you go, a little better chance to get a few breaks in the clouds and it's going to be very humid. That storm continues to churn and it's going to continue to bring in that south breeze, which brings in more of that tropical moisture. So with lots of tropical moisture in place, it doesn't take much to shake some showers out of the clouds. We'll leave the rain chances high enough, a little higher than maybe what we normally have them for typical afternoon sea breeze type scattered showers. And I think we're looking at more than just typical sea breeze afternoon type showers. These could be at any time during the day. And I do think we're going to have that extra humidity around. Boy, you're going to feel it all day. Hopefully there'll be enough of a breeze to keep stirring things up and moving that air around so it doesn't feel so gross out there all day long. It's 76 this morning in Tallahassee. It's 73 in Thomasville. Valdosta starting off at 77. I see a 78 at Wakulla and 82 at Apalachicola. It's only 75 in Bainbridge and Quincy. It's 77 in Madison and in Perry. Now that breeze as it turns a little bit more south, We'll keep bringing in the warm and muggy, so I think we'll keep checking for the fog, but as long as there's a breeze out there, I'm not too concerned about that. This whole mess is going to be slowly moving north and northeast, and as that happens, it will bring those bands that are well east of whatever's left of that core closer to our area. So as future cast shows us, some of those bands will try to spread some of those rains into the panhandle today and maybe into our area at times tomorrow. As long as they stay connected to that core and the Gulf, there will be more moisture being scooped up, so I think our rain chances are going to be even higher tomorrow. Now, as that continues to pull off to the north and east, our winds will change. Instead of being from the south out ahead of it, they start to come in from the northwest behind it. The air north and west is cooler and drier, and boy, that would be nice to pull some of that in maybe for the end of the week. I'm not expecting big, big cool downs, but just drier air will make it feel better out there and could give us a couple of cooler evenings and mornings. Now there's still a whole bunch of circles going on. We had another name system over the weekend. Julian didn't threaten any land and it is losing its tropical characteristics. We've got tropical depression number 10 likely to follow a similar path to Julian and there's more energy coming off the coast of Africa. So we got things going on out there. Number 10 is a good long ways away from the islands and it is likely going to move north. That same big area of higher pressure that sort of helps steer Ida one way will help steer this one the other way. So I don't think this is going to be a big threat. It could become Tropical Storm Kate, by the way, over the next couple of days. We'll keep our eyes on that and all of the areas of energy in the tropics, which are super, super active right now. On the Gulf today, small crafts use some caution. That breeze out of the south, 12 to 24 knots, no joke. We've got the high tides that'll wrap it up by about 8.30 this morning. 70s, about a 50-50 chance for showers throughout the day and night. And I think we'll make it into the upper 80s, maybe give 90 a scare, maybe. I think tonight it's mid 70s and real muggy. And over the next few days, I think what we're going to find are our best rain chances Tuesday into Wednesday, and then some drier air trying to get here for what could be a real treat at the end of the week.